In this video, I'll show you how to linearize rate of reaction data. So here we have the chemical rate of reaction for a first order reaction at different temperatures. The temperatures are given in Kelvin, that's absolute temperature, and that's important that the values are in Kelvin for this analysis. And the rate constants are in seconds to the minus one or per second. Okay, if we highlight that data, and insert a scatter graph, we can see that we get this interesting shape here. Um, and we actually need to do some processing to this data in order to get it to be linear. Okay, so the equation that we're going to use to fit this data is the Arrhenius equation. So K equals A, a pre-exponential factor or the collision constant, times E to the power of capital E, activation energy, divided by RT. That, that is the gas constant and then the absolute temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so if we take the natural log of both sides, we can simplify this using the properties of logs. So first of all, we can break apart the two terms that are multiplied together and just add them up. And then we can actually bring the term here that's in the power term or the, the exponent here and bring it in front of the log. Because natural log of E is 1, this will tidy up to just become natural log of K equals natural log of A plus minus E over R times 1 over T. And I've separated these two terms out, but that still represents what we had up here. Okay, so if we plot a graph of natural log of K on the vertical axis and 1 over T on the horizontal axis, the intercept will be the natural log of A and the gradient will be minus E divided by R. Okay, so let's set the data up so we can do that. So we've got, um, what we're going to do is 1 divided by T here and then we're going to have natural log of K here. So we simply write equals, select that cell or rather we need to do 1 divided by and then we select that cell. And then here for the Excel function, we just use LN, open brackets, click on the value, close the brackets. And then we can simply drag that down and we get the values that we need. And if we just do a quick check, we can insert an XY graph. And indeed we see that we get a linear relationship between the two axes. Okay, so we can use the function equals slope to get the gradient. And these are the y-axis values now. And these are the x-axis values. And then we can also use intercept to get the c value. So y values, comma, x values, close the brackets. And there we have it. Okay, so we know that the intercept is equivalent to natural log of A. So to get A, we're simply going to do EXP of that value, close the brackets, and that is our pre-exponential factor. We also know that the gradient, M, is equivalent to minus E divided by R. So if we take that gradient value, and if we actually multiply that, so times minus R, because there's a negative in there as well, that now gives us the activation energy of the reaction. And that's 15,839.5 joules per mole. Okay, so that's been a video showing us how we can linearize rate of reaction data and then actually work out the activation energy and the pre-exponential factor for that data based on the Arrhenius equation.